在确保金融稳定和战胜通胀的两难选择中，美联储选择了加息二十五个基点。为什么说这意味着在接下来的危机中，美联储和银行势必将要吞掉我们每个人的钱？今天我主要就和大家分享著名经济学家和淘金者华尔街大鳄彼得·西夫对目前金融局势和通胀的看法。最重要的是，在目前的局势下，你要如何投资来确保自己的财务安全并有所盈利？大家好，我是你们最喜欢的财经博主墨镜姐伊丽莎。你们的点赞和留言是我继续前行的动力。这两周真是大事不断，我这一周一期影片实在赶不上形势的快速发展。这次改个方式来看看大家是否喜欢。彼得·西夫是欧洲太平洋资本公司的首席执行官兼全球策略师。他最广为人知的是， 2007年出版了《美元崩溃》一书。他指出了美国经济结构出现了问题。并且滥发钞票，并预言美国将发生金融风暴。他在谈到最近的银行倒闭时说：“正如我多年来警告的那样，美联储实现其接近百分之二通胀目标的唯一方法，是让比二零零八年更严重的金融危机自然发生，而不是对银行或其客户进行救助。”美联储选择了救助，并放弃了与通胀的斗争。美联储虽然这次只加息二十五个基点。但是数据显示，通胀已经有放缓的迹象，而且最近的银行倒闭意味着金融市场已经开始紧缩。紧缩无疑是对通胀下行是有帮助的，这正是美联储希望看到的。为什么彼得·西夫认为接下来的高通胀将是可怕的呢？我们先听听西夫说通胀产生的原因。Well, there's only one reason that anybody suffers from inflation, and that's because of the government. Government is created by inflation. It's a creature of government. In fact, it's simply a stealth way that the government taxes us, because inflation, by definition, is the expansion of the money supply. I mean, to inflate literally means to expand. People normally think about prices, but you can't expand a price. It's the money supply that expands. But when you increase the supply of money, you diminish the value of that money, and now more money is required. To buy goods and services, and so the price of those goods and services rises to reflect the additional money. So it's the increase in price is merely a result of the inflation that is created by government, specifically the Federal Reserve, because the Federal Reserve is expanding the money supply, but the government is ultimately spending that money supply into circulation when it sends out checks without collecting tax revenue. Right, you you have these big budget deficits. Where does the government get a lot of the money to spend if it's not collecting it in taxes and it's getting it from the government that is simply creating it out of thin air? 让我们看看病毒大流行期间，政府总共花了多少钱。截至二零二一年三月，病毒大流行成本总计五点二万亿美元，比第二次世界大战耗资四点七万亿美元还要多。截至二零二一年年中，总支出接近十三万亿美元。全部印钞，包括病毒大流行支出 5.2 万亿美元，量化宽松 4.5 万亿美元，基础设施3万亿美元。这比美国在其13场最昂贵的战争中花费的总和还要多。使用战争对比，是因为他们是我能想到的最昂贵的事情。这堆积如山的新钱，的确是导致通货膨胀的原因。我记得病毒大流行之前。作为家庭主妇，我一直为美国物价的平稳和价廉物美感到高兴。那么，难道政府不知道这样做的后果吗 ？Well, certainly the government doesn't want the public to know that inflation is created by government because then they might oppose it. Obviously, because it's a tax, they want to blame inflation on the public, on greedy corporations. Gouging their customers, on OPEC for raising the price of oil,、uh, speculators for trading in commodities,、uh, sometimes even maybe greedy unions demanding higher wages. The government wants to point the finger at everybody but itself. And you know, part of the problem is inflation. Sometimes, instead of causing prices to go up, 
it prevents them from falling. And so we don't actually see the harmful effects of inflation because you don't realize how much lower your cost of living would otherwise have been absent government created inflation. Because the beauty of capitalism, uh, what little we have left in this country, is that capitalism is a force that leads to abundance, that leads to efficiencies and economies of scale. And so normally in a capitalist economy, the cost of goods and services is going down. And that means our standard of living is going up because we can afford to buy more stuff. But when the government creates inflation, oftentimes it prevents those benevolent price declines from happening. But we don't complain about it because we don't realize the benefit that we never enjoyed. So if prices go up by 2%, but they should have gone down by 5%, The government says, oh, we have 2% inflation, but we don't. We have 7% inflation, 7% higher because the government inflated the money supply. Why Adam斯密斯在其经济学巨著《国富论》中第一次提出了市场经济会由无形之手自行调节的理论，看不见的手说明通过价格机制的导引，使得追求自立的个体行动能促进社会整体的效力。屠夫酿酒者面包师傅并不是因为想到我们晚餐要吃喝什么才去做这些东西他做这些事时其实只想到了自己的利益关于这个部分我在上一期关于失业的问题上也详细解释过接下来彼得西夫谈到政府是如何通过通胀向人们征税 The government needs money to spend and it has two ways of getting that money One is the honest way. It could take it from us through taxation, right? Where the government literally takes money out of our paychecks so we have less money to spend. Or they can persuade us to loan them the money, which again, we take money that we could have spent and we loan it to the government and the government spends it instead. Now, of course, that represents a claim on future taxpayers, which are ultimately going to have to pay taxes to the government so the government can pay me back the money it borrowed. But in either of those two ways, taxation or legitimate borrowing, money is sent from the private sector to the government, and then the government puts it back into the private sector. So there is no net increase in the money supply, but there is a net reduction in my personal money supply because money that I send to the government cannot be spent by me, but I have less to spend, so I get less stuff. 在2023年财年,联邦政府征收了1.73万亿美元的收入,但是支出了2.46万亿美元,截至2023年3月16日,财政赤字造成了美国的债务总额为31.46万亿美元。美国的国债是联邦政府为支付一段时间内产生的未
彼得西夫认为，政府通过通胀拿走民众的钱的主要目的是政治需求，是选票需求。Regardless of whether the government takes my money or my purchasing power, the difference is when the government takes my money, I know who to blame. Right? That you raise my taxes, but when they steal my money through inflation, I'm confused. Especially when the government is lying to the public about why prices are going up, or in fact they're pretending they're not going up by using the CPI, which doesn't even capture the real extent that prices are going up. So I don't even know they're going up if I believe the government. But what I do know is my standard of living is going down because you know I'm not able to afford as much stuff with my income. But I'm not blaming government, and I'm not taking my frustration out. At the polls, that's what the politicians don't want.、They、don't like to raise taxes because the voters don't like paying higher taxes. But if they steal their purchasing power through inflation, the voters don't know they're getting robbed, and they may still continue to re-elect. 很显然，彼得西夫是一个典型的资本主义的拥护者，是个自由主义者。他反对政府的过度干预。对今天的金融环境，彼得西夫强调，如果坚持自由市场，经济中所有的这些过度行为早就被清除了。而相对于出现泡沫，我们的经济将会出现真正的复苏和繁荣，而不是我们所享受的虚假繁荣。现在就是自作自受。西夫还说，不幸的是，通胀即将深破屋顶。他认为，拜登说没有人会为这些救助计划买单，他错了。我们都将通过通胀税来为此买单，因为美联储正在通过印钞票提供融资，所有东西的价格都会上涨。事实上，现在银行的存款比以往任何时候都面临更大的风险，因为通胀将令每个人的储蓄价值暴跌。那么，在这种情况下，人们要怎么做呢？ Resources, whether it's metals,、uh, oil and gas, agriculture, and the companies involved in those sectors are going to do well. You want to be in emerging markets because there's going to be an exodus, I think, from the U.S. and some of the developed markets、uh, into the emerging market currencies, emerging market economies. They should benefit from weakness in the U.S. dollar. Of course, you know you want to own. Precious metals. You want to own gold. Gold is a great asset. Gold and silver. They're monetary metals. When you have a lot of inflation, you have negative real interest rates, which is what we do. People are looking for an alternative store of value, a hedge against inflation, and you'll find that in, in gold and silver. And of course,、uh, you can also invest in companies that mine gold and silver. They own a lot of deposits that are in the ground. They own those resources, and they're able to extract those resources by mining them. And they sell the, the, what they what they pull out of the ground, and they make money. The higher the price of gold and silver, the more money they make. 西夫认为，他觉得大家的确可能不需要担心钱存在银行的安全问题，但是大部分的美国人的钱都将被通胀吃掉。他建议大家不要把钱都存在银行，应该买一些经营或者做点什么。大家怎么看？看完再赞，好运不断。这算是我的一个新的尝试。以后我还会陆续和大家分享这些业界大佬对市场的看法。如果你喜欢的话，不要忘了点赞订阅。感谢大家收看，我们下周六不见不散。